Welcome guys. Right. Shall we open this? Why not? Okay, right here on Stevie Boy London. Okay guys, well... Here we are, this is the unboxing uh, video for the Avro Lancaster B Mark III Special, the Dam Busters of uh, number 617 Squadron Operation Chastise, 17th of May 1943. The code uh, for this one is A09007A, it's by Airfix, and loving the artwork. Yeah, loving the artwork is uh, showing the uh, showing the actual raid and the bomb coming away uh, as well. So usual kind of uh, bits of information in different languages. Same artwork on the side box there. It's just one colour scheme, but two decal, uh, but two decal schemes. Okay, and the one that I'm going to be doing is this one. Um, Guy Gibson's uh, Lancaster G George, and it comes with three flying hours, skill level three, and you've got all your paints here and that kind of stuff as well. All right, so let's open this up. Now, I must admit, I've not actually seen this yet, so... Okay, that's that. Top opening box. Usual bag of screws, uh, so screws and frames, whatever you like to call them. A set of instructions and. Decals as well, which I'm going to be using uh, as well. And right, and as I say, and you've also got your color schemes as well. So this is the one I'm going to be uh, doing. Okay, aircraft flying by Wing Commander Guy Gibson. Commanding Officer, Operation Chastise, Number 617 Squadron, Royal Air Force, Scampton, England, 16th of, 17th of May 1943. And of course on the other side you've got your colour scheme for um, um, Les Monroe, uh, John Leslie Les Monroe. Okay. But obviously the, the decal markings are going to be different. So get that out of the way. And the box. Right. Now, instructions. Usual set of instructions which are in English. And you've got French there. Uh, English, French. And once again in uh, German, Spanish. And Swedish and also in assembly instructions in English, French, German, Spanish, 
Swedish, Dutch, Polish, Italian, Portuguese. I think that's Greek, uh, Finnish and Danish. Ah, here we go. This is where we now really come into it. So I'll, I'm going to be... So i just move that out of the way for me. There we go. Unusually, instead of uh, starting with the cockpits, we go, we start with the bomb bay and the... Uh, and so on and so forth. Then we move on to the wing spars, the, cock, the, co the pilot's seat. I don't usually bother with the pilot, it doesn't really matter. And the control column. And then that can, the pilot seat and the control stick. And so on, that all goes in. Instructions all nice and clear. Got the fuselage halves going together. You got um, fairings and lights and so on. Let go into, into the belly of the aircraft. You got the wings here. You got the wing. The, obviously, you got the wing spars and the wing formers as well. So they go together. Then the wing wings themselves. And you've got the ailerons and the engine nacelles and, uh, and so on. And again, the engine nacelles on this page as well. This page it there tells you how, how the uh, nacelles nacelle are fitted uh, to the aircraft. Okay. And then you've got the underside of the um, aircraft as well. Like the things like the undercarriage and things like the undercarriage and so on so forth it's a lot of stuff to go on a lot more going on here and with the the flaps you've got the you've got a choice of having the flaps retracted or lowered as if it was either coming into land or taking off you've got here two bits here which need um i've seen uh, videos on youtube where these are actually unglued because what you need to do is to get the landing gear the main landing gear in through the top so that's how it, that's how it goes with that one you've got other bits and pieces here for the uh, for the actual bomb itself um, You've got the bomb release gear and all that kind of stuff going in. You've got the fairings for the turret on this page. And then you've got all the props and the clear parts on this page as well. And last but not least, I'm going to have the bomb fixed to the aircraft. 
as it's um, because they've also given you the option of a bomb trolley but I'm going to have the bomb fixed to, to the aircraft so this this trolley is is going to be of no use okay Right, let's get the Right, let's go and get my knife out again. a bit that's broken off here so I'm gonna put that in the bag keep that somewhat keep that safe okay so we have got frame this, this is nice clear nice clear plastic so I've got frame uh, frame a Nice clear plastic here for because you've got the Bombay here. There's also on another video, um, I think it was um, Gary's Gary stuff. Um, he took this part out, okay? So, I'll have, but we'll see about we'll see what the instructions say okay but nice clear nice clear plastic well not clear not clear plastic but so I mean you, you know what I mean nice clear plastic there Okay. Frame B. Pretty much the same as uh, frame A. But these I've got the underside of the wings and one part of the uh, landing wheel as well so there we go for that one that, that, that one's broken off I think so we're going to do and that's pretty much broken as well broken as well but we'll but we'll can, we can sort all that out when we come to when we come to build it. This, I believe, is going to be... Sprue F, right, so this is frame F, so... This is what all the engine nacelles. These are the two bits which you actually um, leave off um, prior to, to putting the landing gear in, okay? And I've got, got paddle props here, but I think we'll use these ones. We'll use these ones, I think, because I don't think uh, the uh, dam busters had paddle um, had paddle propellers. 
Okay, maybe some, uh, somebody can correct me on that. And here's where And this is, I do believe, where is, this is frame C, this is the one that's got the, <coughs> this is the one that's got the blanking plates on, the rear wheel, the landing gear, okay. This is, these are the doors for the undercarriage bay. Okay. This is frame D. This is the one that's got all the, the flaps and the wing formers and the uh, the back end for the um, for the turret. So this is the, this one here where I've got my fingers, the uh, turret fairing for the front turret. So, do you know, I can't see any sync marks. Okay. Last but not least of the main sprues, you've got the bomb here as well. You've got you've got the bomb. Now, when I when I went to um, when I went to a Duxford just over a year ago um, to the Battle of Battle of Britain Air Show. I saw uh, a replica of the upkeep bomb painted in black and I, that's what I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just I'm gonna paint I'm gonna paint the upkeep bomb in black okay so that's that one out of the way um, And you got here for the, uh, got here the, uh, the underside of the bomb bay as well. This is all for the, um, then you got the, uh, uh, these are the wheels for the, These are the wheels for the the bomb trolley, which we're not going to which we're not going to do. And you got the um, bomb bomb release gear and all that and so on and so forth. So that's that one out the way. Ah. Here are the clear parts. These look really good. Uh, 
Can't see anything wrong there. This one's for, for the cockpit. I'm not sure about this one because it looks a bit. We'll soon come to it when we, when we do the instruction and when we when we come to build it. Okay, so yeah, this is a frame H, by the way. Okay, there we go, and I'll be back. Right, decals, and they are gorgeous. They look the part. You've got one here for the control panel. Um, you've got one here for the navigator's map. I'm not sure about... Um, these two, okay, but you've got the two round doors there that go on the top of the, of the wing. And you've got the um, registration ones there, plus these two here. As I say, I'm going to be doing Guy Gibson's Lancaster, which is uh, G. George, which is that one. These look really, really gorgeous. Um, can't fault them. Okay. And there we go. I'll be back. <sighs> right, there you have it, guys. That's the unboxing uh, video for the Avro Lancaster B Mark III Dambuster Special. Um, I'm really looking forward to building this, so... Um, so yeah, um, what I'm going to do now is I'll, what I'll do now is that I'll get all the, um, frames washed in soapy water, um, and I'll get them all primed and that should all be done in time for the first part of, of the build. Okay, so um, in the meantime, guys, thanks a lot for watching. If you like the video, then give it a good thumbs up, why don't you? Uh, also, comment as well. Really, really looking forward to building this. Um, yeah, look for yeah comments and also please share the video as well. So um, and so on. Okay, thanks a lot. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.